assumed, wouldn't we, that nature was for everyone. But a 14-year-old girl from Bristol started a campaign to encourage more people from black and ethnic minorities to enjoy the countryside. Maya Rose Craig is setting up a group called Black to Nature. She's already helped run two summer camps for teenagers and organised a conference to encourage nature organisations to become more diverse. Morning, Maya. Morning. Um, so does it really feel to you like the countryside is just for white people? Yeah, definitely. There's a really obvious lack of like um, minority ethnic people going out. It's um, the large, um, just everyone going out is white, really, and it's just a really massive issue because the countryside for nature and all of that kind of thing is for everyone. And wh- at what point did you realise this and realise that you wanted to do something about it? It was kind of summer 2015 where it for just a couple of reasons it really came to the forefront of my mind and at, at the time I was organising a, um, a camp for like a nature camp for young people just for fun thing on the weekend and I really just suddenly came to track and I was trying to get some minority ethnic people out to try and enjoy the countryside and it was really power and um in the end, we had to use a few of our contacts in the community and stuff to um, try and get some kids out. And in the end, we got five of them, which was amazing. And when people come out and join you, what kind of response are you getting from them? Why aren't they engaging out and about in the countryside? Well, in the conference, we identified loads of barriers and there's like all sorts of things. It's a really complex thing. And... Um, it, everything from just not really having the suitable clothes, like a lot of um, my Bangla family and stuff, um, a lot of the old women, all they wear is like sandals and saris and things like that, so they'd never enjoy being outside in the cold English weather. Yeah. It's things like a lot of them fear dogs and that kind of thing, um, kind of the hours that they work maybe, um, just not really having a connection in the first place, they can't really be bothered. There's really interesting to hear that because those aren't the kind of barriers I'd have even thought about but you you've obviously gone to a lot of trouble so what happens next then Maya Rose what, what's your big plan well um the things we set up black to nature and at the moment the, we're trying to do those things but it's like um getting the NGOs and just the little things of them like all their photos or kind of white people maybe making just their media a bit more diverse and things like that to appeal to people maybe finding like a role model or that kind of thing for people or using our connections within the community to try and just bring people out into the country because a lot of the time when they do come out they they do have a really nice time so it's it's not about that at all so it's yeah, a, a lot of things. Well, you've got a lot of work to do, haven't you? But you sound as though you're more than capable. Thank you very much and good luck. Uh, 14-year-old Maya Rose Craig from Bristol, she be 14, who started this campaign to encourage more people from black and ethnic minorities to enjoy the countryside. She called it Black to Nature. <laughs>